Hi, Robert Kiefer here with H2O Pro, and uh, we've got coupled out to a burst pipe out in this shopping center. And uh, right now, uh, we're taking care of removing all the contents in here, getting this carpet removed, and uh, we'll start hooking up some of our indirect fired heaters and uh, get some thermal drying going on, turn around and save some of this drywall. Got an awful lot to do here. We'll treat this all this with an antimicrobial once we get it from uh, wet to dry in record time the repairs can start happening and uh, we can get tenants back in here and back to business as usual this was the uh, main source that broke over here got below freezing and uh, you can see the pressure of the water shot right through the wall it's pretty typical that you see here and uh, We'll go over next door here. All of our guys are hard at work, as usual. Can't thank them enough. Say hi to everybody on Delmarva, guys. Yep. Yeah. All right. So over here, we got all this water extracted got air movers we have starting to set up uh, some dehumidifiers as well if you look here this is our thermal imaging camera if you look at those dark spots that is the water that's bound into the wall so if you look here everything may look dry but if you have the right technology you can see the hidden moisture and this is what ends up leading to mold so We've had to move all the contents, shift those around, extract off a lot of water over here. This entire place was under a couple inches of water. And we'll pull this up. You see those dark lines down there just above the baseboard? It's all bound water wicked up there that we're going to have to dry. We'll remove all the baseboards from there. Come over here another area that was completely soaked again you see all the water that's trapped behind that we'll have to fix that here soon more water trapped all behind see here we got here this platform it's got OSB underneath of it it's completely saturated it's non salvageable so we're gonna have to go ahead and discard uh, this platform here and the owner's gonna have to make a new one. We also got storage room back there. We have to address, that's been completely flooded out along with this bathroom. Let me come back here to check this just yet. Yep, and see all the bound water there as well. So all the baseboard and everything's gotta be popped off there. Around here, see all the water that's trapped there, that dark colors that you see. Once the water reaches the sill plate, it wicks right up into the building material. So, got a long ways to go. <coughs> Been here for quite a few hours. We got the drying situation under control. And uh, before you know it, these people will be back to business. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, so here is a commercial loss that we're doing here in Sussex County. And I don't know how well you guys can actually hear me right now because there's so many air movers going. But uh, we had a water main pipe break way back here. I'll take you guys through that real quick. So this is a really good size job here. This is just one section of this commercial loss that we're doing. But over in this area, this pipe here broke and uh, due, to, due to the freezing temperatures that we had and it shot through that wall and it ran for a couple days. So we had to cut out two feet all the way around. Uh, the drywall wasn't able to be dried in place on this particular one, it had sat too long. So after we've done that, we're gonna remove this vanity tomorrow. We've been out working late every night and a little section of the drywall there still. 
But on the other side of this is a furniture store, and uh, we're drying the back of this drywall so there's no business interruption from the other side. So we opened all this up. That way we didn't have to cause any demo on the other side of this wall and let that business uh, keep running. They have a big furniture um, holiday sale, um, so they really want to make sure that they're open. So we got some dehumidifiers in here right now. So the air movers are going to create a vortex here. So you can see all the way around. That's why they're all pointing in that direction. Create that vortex out of speed up the drying process. As the evaporation uh, occurs, the dehumidifiers will turn around and pull that moisture out of the air. They'll uh, condensate over the condenser cooler or coils in there and then uh, into these buckets and then we'll empty those out because we don't really have a good place to drain those. So we've got some temporary buckets in there to uh, handle that. This floor is uh, has to be dried, even though it may look uh, like it's dry, especially tomorrow when we come here, it'll look a lot drier, but it won't actually be because there'll be bound water in there. That bound water is seeped way into the concrete. If we don't get that dry properly, then what will happen is it'll look dry, they'll put the new floor covering down, whether it be carpet, hardwood tile, doesn't really matter. Wet will seep dry, that moisture will pull right up through the uh, through the concrete at a much slower rate, so months down the road, they'll probably have a floor failure. So it's real important that we'll probably end up doing uh, calcium chloride tests or some other uh, equilibrium um, uh, moisture content or relative humidity uh, readings in the concrete itself, make sure it's actually dry, dry. So we'll go over here to this other section as well. So over here in this furniture store, we've started drying everything out. We've had to move all the furniture, pop the baseboard, we're drying back in these areas, all the way back into there. Trying to fire, fire up our thermal imaging camera here as well. But uh, this place was completely flooded out as well. We got a bunch of dehumidifiers strategically placed through here air movers and uh, we're going to get some more power here add some more air movers as well but uh, as you can see we got those going on drying all the way down through here spent a lot of time here over the last two days before we got to that other section and uh, we'll go over here see if you guys can see this see that uh, dark purple color that's the moisture that is still in the wall there you can see the Heat energy getting getting created from the air mover itself. Not sure how well you guys can actually see this, but uh, that all that yellow area is from um, the energy getting passed into the wall. So that hot, dry air that we've created inside this uh, store is now being transferred into the building material that raises the vapor pressure. Once the vapor pressure is at a big enough uh, differential point than the ambient air, uh, a quick evaporation can start occurring. We'll take it down here where you can see this area. It's very wet, so we'll be doing a lot of uh, manipulation here with our air movers to speed up the drying over the next couple days. More air movers back there. Try to get this thing into focus. Not sure if I'll be able to get that in focus, but we're drying. That area as well, all these cabinets, everything back here. We had to move all this stuff. How you doing, Jay? All right, so we're moving along here. You can see right behind the air mover, we still have bound water. But with the air movers transferring the heat, we're drying out very well. You see we're going to need to add additional air movement there. Kicked out this wall piece. We got air movement passing through there. And a good ways to get that dry.
more bound water up in there. We've got to get some more air movement there. But uh, things are starting to dry out, but we got a good ways to go. Again, this is the area that we packed out. All right, so this is what the water damage looks like. Stay tuned for more info.